may recall earlier this week, we focused on a report about cartels allegedly operating in Zimbabwe. That report was published by the Daily Maverick on Monday, with Maverick citizen editor Mark Haywood explaining how a network of cartels is apparently fleecing diamond, gold, agricultural, tobacco wealth from the country. The report even points a finger at Zimbabwe's first citizen, President Emerson Munangagwa, alleging he is deeply involved in illegal cigarette and tobacco cartels. Now, on Tuesday, we also spoke to a local representative from governing party ZANU-PF, who explained the party had much more important issues to deal with and were not at this time concerned with investigating or even reading the report. But nonetheless, that report is making waves internationally and here at home. And I'm joined now by Yusuf Abramji, anti-crime activist and founder of Tax Justice South Africa. Yusuf, good evening. Thanks for joining us. So I presume you've read the whole report. You've picked up particularly on the tobacco and cigarette cartels. What picture does it paint exactly? Good evening, Sally. Well, we know that uh, this report has some... Uh very damning evidence against a lot of business people, against certain politicians, but more so the government of Zimbabwe. For ZANU-PF to say that uh, there are more important things to worry about uh, is really a slap in the face. And it's only going to enrich the criminals who are already making billions of dollars uh, in looting the country. Uh, we know that this report uh, has some dramatic details about uh, diamond smuggling, uh, gold smuggling, uh, and even the illicit tobacco trade. Now, since the lockdown began in South Africa, especially Sally, we've seen an increase in smuggling, uh, especially tobacco products from Zimbabwe to South Africa. One particular brand, the Remington Gold brand, manufactured by Gold Leaf Tobacco in Zimbabwe, uh, has been confiscated over and over again, and we believe that the market has been flooded. In fact, the Crime Watch on ENCA uh, just about three or four weeks ago, had uh, hidden camera footage to show that these products are being sold uh, uh, by retailers as, as cheap as nine rand a packet of 20 cigarettes, and the minimum taxes payable are 20 rand and one cent, which means that millions is being lost uh, to the South African economy because of the smuggling. Now, if one looks at the report specifically uh, around uh, cigarette uh, smuggling, the report says, and I quote, Cigarette cartels are using middlemen in South Africa to collude in smuggling, export fraud, and tax evasion. The Zimbabwean subsidiary of uh, the Johannesburg-based Gold Leaf Tobacco enjoyed the patronage of Robert Mugabe, uh, who leased one of his farms uh, uh, to the family of uh, 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 Simon Rudland. Now, the name Simon Rudland has come up repeatedly in South Africa, and we also know there was an attempt on his life uh, some time ago. Um, and Rutland is on record last year saying, and I quote, the financial reward for not paying the sin taxes uh, is very attractive. And these cigarette smugglers are, are now uh, taking over the market. The report says an estimated 27% of the cigarettes now consumed in South Africa uh, are smuggled in from Zimbabwe. Uh, another name was, has also come up linked to the amalgamated tobacco company in Peter Maritzburg. So we are very concerned. Uh, and these are very serious allegations, and we need government to act, and we need to, them to act immediately, Sally. Mm. Now, we know that uh, the illegal tobacco trade certainly took hold when tobacco products were banned for a period during the lockdown. But we also know that our revenue service has reinvigorated its units that tackle exactly this sort of crime. Are you confident that enough is being done and that they really are gearing up to tackle this illegal smuggling? There is no doubt that uh, a lot of progress has been made. However, these criminals have become so brazen that they are openly selling the products uh, on the black market. In fact, not even on the black market. Retailers are openly breaking the law. We've even seen one company uh, in Johannesburg selling uh, tobacco products online in contravention of the health regulations. And they are continuing. So SARS uh, does have the capacity to really bring these people to book, and so does the police, but uh, we've seen very little action. Uh, and I think that uh, uh, the 8 billion rand estimated being lost only in the tobacco trade uh, is only the tip of the iceberg. Uh, we know the other industries are also su 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 suffering a similar fate. Um, during the lockdown, we saw massive uh, uh, items on the black market, uh, and we expressed the concern at the time, Sally, that this is going to continue post the unbanning of cigarettes, and that's exactly what we are now seeing. So while some strides have been made, uh, I think a lot of work still needs to be done. We know the border mm. between Zimbabwe and South Africa is 
Uh, the fences are broken, people yeah. are openly going in and out of the country, and it's a real problem. So, Yusuf, how does a consumer know uh, when they pick up a packet of uh, Zimbabwean cigarettes that it's been legitimately brought into the country or might have been smuggled? Very good question, Sally. A lot of the products that are smuggled in don't have the so-called South African stamp, which is uh, the four-cornered stamp. We know that, uh, for example, uh, a lot of the Remington Gold uh, are smuggled in from Zimbabwe. So the easiest way to uh, uh, find a, uh, a packet of illicit or uh, illegal cigarettes is uh, by making sure that uh, it is over the minimum taxes payable. So the minimum taxes payable, which includes VAT, is 20 rand and 1 cent. And that is why we at Tax Justice has called on government to introduce a minimum price on these cigarettes. Because the cheaper the products, uh, the cheaper the consumer are going to buy the cheaper products, and that's going to contribute to the illicit trade. Uh, the Consumer Goods Council has a uh, hotline where they ask members of the public to come forward and report the illicit trade. But any product sold for under 20 rand and 1 cent is a problem, uh, and it should be regarded as illegal. Thank you so much uh, for uh, telling us about that. Yusuf Abramji, anti-crime activist and founder, of course, of Tax Justice.